Now, at least 79 people have died due to heavy rainfall and flooding in northeastern Brazil. The downpour ravaged two major Atlantic coast cities on the 27th and the 28th of this month. Heavy rain expected to continue for the next few days. This is the nation's fourth major flooding event in five months. Regional Development Minister Daniel Ferreira said that over 50 people were missing, at least 25 injured, close to 4,000 homeless and around 530 people displaced. In addition to the death count, the heavy rain led to landslides that wiped away hillsides, urban and neighborhoods. President Jair Bolsonaro is set to visit the affected areas as well. The Alagao's 33 municipalities, they have declared an emergency due to the effect of heavy rain. Governor Paolo Camara deployed military to carry out relief and rescue operations as well. The health minister announced that disaster kits were being given to help those who were affected by the floods. E nós já estamos providenciando é, insumos com o chamado kit desastre da Secretaria de Vigilância e Saúde para que é, se some as ações do Estado e do município e nós consigamos minorar o sofrimento da nossa população. Now, Brazil endured severe drought for the majority of 2021. However, heavy downpour started towards the end of the year, leading to multiple massive floods in the country since then. In February, more than 230 people were killed in the city of uh, Metropolis uh, early last month. 14 more were killed by flooding, landslides in the state as well. Experts say Brazil's rain season downpours are being augmented by La Nina, the cyclical cooling of the Pacific Ocean, and by climate change. Risks from heavy rain augmented by topography, poor construction, built in steep areas for towns. And now many neighborhoods have been built in locations that are vulnerable to land and mudslides. And this has also called the nation's urban planning into question. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.